guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to crochet a patchwork cardigan that is inspired by the harry size i genuinely make this video for both advanced crocheters but also beginners like if you know some of the basics of crochet you can just take the banners that i included in the description box below but if you're just starting off with crochet i included all the steps you'll be needing to follow starting off with how to make the squares ribbings cuffs to sewing everything together For this specific project, you're gonna be needing three different colors of yarn, 250 grams of each. You can go with any mark available for you, just make sure it is 100% acrylic so that it doesn't shrink over time. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's also a little bit elastic too, and it includes a recommended size of crochet hook. For the tools, you'll be needing a pair of scissors, you can work with this one, but it will be much easier to work with the ones that are dedicated to crafting and crochet. And for the crochet hook, I'd recommend a T-Birds crochet hook, 4mm crochet hook, which is not too bulky nor too fine, just like mine. And actually, buttons are optional if you'd like to close your cardigan as well as a darning needle to tie off your end. Moving on to the patterns, here's the back panel, the front panel, and the sleeves panel. Depending on the colors you choose, you're going to be working 20 squares of color 1, 21 squares of color 2, and 19 squares of color 3, in a total of 60 squares. Before we get started, make sure you have about 6 to 7 inches of yarn to tie the yarn to the hook by a slip knot. Go ahead and take the tail end of the yarn and make a loop by dropping it over the working end. Now go ahead and take your loop and flip it over the attached strand of yarn. Pull that strand of yarn through the loop, just like this. And now you have this big loop, which you're gonna tighten until you got a smaller one. Once done, insert your hook. Personally, I hold the hook with my right hand, just like a pencil. My middle finger controls the attached loop, while my index and thumb are on the flat grip of the hook. Now with my left hand, I tie in the yarn by wrapping it around my index and with my middle finger and thumb, I hold the piece of work. To make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through the loop, just like that. Wrap the yarn around the hook, make sure you take off your middle finger and pull the yarn through the loop. If you're starting off with crochet, just do it over and over until you get the hang of it. And actually, the reason why it's called chain is because it really looks like a chain link if you flip it over. If you look a little more closely, you're gonna see the resemblance. So for this project, you're gonna be needing to crochet 23 chains. So here I have my 23 chains, but first of all, you need to know that each one of these little V's here is a chain where you're going to crochet the next stitches. So first, wrap the yarn around the hook, skip the first chain, into the second chain, insert your hook. Then you will reach back here and pull up a loop and pull it through the chain. So now we have three loops on the hook. Next, wrap the yarn around the hook and you'll bring it through all the three loops. 
that's the half double crochet. So I'll do it again. Yarn around the hook, insert it into the chain, yarn over and bring it back through the chain, yarn over and bring it through the three loops. Just do it over and over until you reach the last chain. Now that you are in the end of the row, make sure you have 22 half double crochets. Next chain 1 and flip the work over just like this. Now wrap the yarn around hook and make sure to insert the hook into the two loops of the stitch. So here's the front loop. I don't know if you can see it or not. And this is the back loop. Pull up a loop, pull it through the chain, yarn over and bring it through the three loops. Here's a quick trick. When you reach the last stitch of your row, just turn your crochet hook eye like this. It makes it much easier to grab the two loops of the stitch. But before that, don't forget to wrap the yarn around. Until now, we've just made two rows. You just need to repeat the exact same thing until you make 18 rows. At the end, this is what your work should look like. You can make sure you get the right square either by counting the rows or by a measure and tape. So here my square measures 15 centimeters. Next, you're going to insert your crochet hook, chain 1, fasten your work off, and pull the yarn through the loop just like this. For the bottom ribbon, I just started with 12 chains, then made 11 half double crochet of the first row. Next to the second row, we're making a half double crochet, but this time it's only in the back loops of stitches. So, I wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the back loop only. Here. Pull up a loop and pull it through the back loop. Yarn over and pull through the three stitches. So you just need to do the same thing until the ribbon reach approximately 135 centimeters long. To sew everything together, just grab the squares that we're going to join by their last rows, these ones, and go ahead and place one of them above the other one. In order to make our seams invisible, we have to work on the back loops only. So, as you can see, each one of our stitches has a V, so we're going to work in the back loops of it, just like we did in the half double crochet back loops only. But you need to be careful, the back loop of the upper square is not this one, as we used to know. It's actually the one facing us, since the upper square is flipped over. we're gonna join it with the back loop of the lower square. 
To make things easier, let's consider that each stitch of the square has its own pair and the square above, under and beside it, and this is how we connect them. To join the square with the middle and bottom ribbon, it's exactly the same thing. But for the cuffs, considering that its diameter is way smaller than the squares or the sleeves, you have to join each side loop of the cuffs with three or four side loops of the square. like the video please don't forget to like subscribe and share it with your friends till now stay safe and healthy and see you in the next video